Hello folks and welcome. So LMDE6 codename Faye has officially been released. So this is not a beta copy. So I'm going to be uh, giving you a couple of tips today. I'm going to try to make this in a window of 20 minutes or so uh, about some tips. I won't give you a comprehensive because otherwise the video will take too long. But more importantly, um, this is still going to be long as it is. So um, today is the 28th of September. This um, LMDE6 was released yesterday, I believe on the 27th, 2023. Not sure when you're watching the video. Filming in 1920 by 1080, you can adjust your YouTube player accordingly. A lot of your YouTube players default to 460, 460. That's a lot lower than what I'm filming in. So again, filming in 1920 by 1080. Um, so for some of you folks that like large stuff, if you want to call it for the seniors or just call it for anyone, Linux is for everyone, there's a 200% scaling factor also available. LMDE stands for Linux Mint Debian Edition, version 6. Fay is the code name. Cinnamon version 5.8.4 uses a 6.1 series kernel. You can find the minimum specifications on Linux Mint's website. You can open up a web browser and use your favorite search engine and search for the same. I'm using an AMD Ryzen 5 today with an AMD graphics card with a little bit more RAM than normal. Again, you can look those specifications up. I'm going to use Alt and F4. So I'm using a tower computer. So most of the stuff that I'm talking about today is for a regular tower computer, not a laptop. So the products that I'm using today are both Logitech, an M585 computer mouse wireless a ka50 wireless keyboard so i'm going to bring up the uh, keyboard layout for a second and talk about some keys in this video i'm blinking the control key on my left side you can see it i also have one on the right side but i normally don't use that one because i'm right-handed i normally have my hand on the on the mouse the uh, super key is called start on my my keyboard some of you folks may not have one of these it opens up the mint menu I also am going to talk about the space bar when I'm in my file manager to uh, view thumbnails on photos. I'll be using also Alt and F4. Holding down the Alt key, pressing F4 closes this window. If you are using like a Windows 11 computer, Alt and F4 close, gives you a dialog box that says shut down Windows. If you're on a laptop, it may be function Alt and F4. If you're on a laptop with a touchpad, a lot of times you can press the control key and then using two fingers, two fingers to scroll up and down on your touchpad to resize text or icons in file managers and maybe even web browsers. All right, I'm going to use Alt and F4 to close this and then continue. I'm going to give you a quick software count and then we're going to proceed into just giving you general tips on the file manager and uh, I'll talk a little bit about software that you may want to think about. Or I'll do it out of order. How's that? I'm just free, free floating this today. If you're a current subscriber, um, I will probably be showing you a couple of new tips today. If you are a non-subscriber or have never seen my videos, I do encourage that you subscribe. I have over 200 on my current channel. I've been doing this for several years. So in either case, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to resize this box. So uh, my current subscribers have seen me do this before. So the reason I'm using this yellow mouse pointer instead of the standard one, which is um, when I just point to the standard one, which is this one. Um, I'm using that for a reason because it's nice and yellow and it has that feature. I'm pointing to the tip of the pointer is pointing to a line. That line represents the top of the box or the window. Your pointer tip has to be below this to do what I'm about to do. Click and hold and push it to the top and then double click to go full screen. And then click and hold and pull it down to resize the box. You can also right click and resize if you like. You can also grab the corner and resize. You can also double click. Does it matter? You noticed I'm not clicking any icons. No, I'm not. I can click and drag it here and pull it down from here. I can click and drag it here and pull it down from there. I can double click over here and double click over here. Or you can do it the old fashioned way. 
65,079 packages are available in Synaptic Package Manager. You can install software here. Synaptic does not contain Flatpak software. Where's this stuff coming from? It's coming from Mint and Debian. LMDE5 and LMDE6, which is this version, is Debian-based and also Linux Mint-based. But LMDE stands for Linux Mint Debian-based. Okay, so that's where that stuff is coming from. Installing stuff, mark, and usually you get more goodies and then you mark that and then you hit apply. You can also do searches. Some things have screenshots, some things not so much. All right, I can also close this window by hitting Control Q. I can also use Alt and F4 or hit the conventional X. I'm gonna use Alt and F4. If you're a brand new user of Mint, Linux Mint Debian Edition, um, the um, Linux Mint 21.2 also has the same software manager. This is called Mint Install 8.2.8. Another name for that is Software Manager. This is all point and click, same deal. Pull it up, double click it, pull it down for resizing. Or you can just do that and leave it. All right, so we have a search field here. We have, um, I'm going to make this slightly larger for you if you like. We have categories and uh, you'll see lots of references to flathub.org. Unlike Synaptic, this also contains Flatpak software. That's in addition to that number that I showed you. So I'll click this VLC for, for a second. Some people like VLCs also, even on their mobile devices. Now Flatpak software in general, which comes from flathub.org and a lot of other Linux distros also use this website. Um, they can be pretty hefty on your drive. If you're concerned about disk space, you may want to look at that reference number. VLC also has a system package, different screenshot. It's a little less footprint on your drive. But again, sometimes it has to do with version numbers. So let me give you an example of something like that. So LibreOffice is installed. Here's Writer. And the version is currently at 7.4.7.2. This uh, will not save it uh, in the Microsoft equivalent. Uh, it's called um, 20.10 Office 365. If you're interested in something like that, then type in the word Libre and then click this one that says Flathub on it. This is 7.6, the latest version, as of last week, I think, or maybe it was this week. This will allow you to save if you download and install this. But again, take a look at the footprint. Uh, this will allow you to save it in that 2010 format. All right, that's one example. Also, in your office area, you do not have a, um, a dictionary. So you may want to think about this. Go back to the main screen and type in D-I-C-T. Now, here's the GNOME dictionary is one example you can install. Or Golden Dictionary. I like this one for many reasons. I can resize the text inside when I have Golden open. It also minimizes to the panel after you open it, so you can copy and paste words later. You can also copy images off of here. The text is also resizable this way or my way. I'll show you my way when I get into the file manager. So there's lots of software to think about. Another one too is in your graphics area, you don't have anything that's the equivalency of Photoshop. So I'm gonna show you something that's real simple that I use almost every day. That's called GIMP, and it comes in two flavors. This set standard system package. The screenshot may be in a foreign language, and don't let that deter you. It's whatever language packs you have installed. And if you install some applications, sometimes you get a post-it note downstairs that says to install language packs. This also comes in a flat pack version, different screenshot. So in, in this one, it has the English screenshot. The other one did not. Okay, so different uh, tools in here. Um, you can resize images. You can convert a PNG to a JPEG. Yeah, I create thumbnails using this thing. All my thumbnails on my YouTube site, those 200 plus videos, were all done with GIMP. It's a funny name though, GNU Image Manipulation Program. Very nice tool though. When you have it installed, it also has have help files, especially when you're new, that comes in handy. It's also got some extra toys that you can install. 
So we have all kinds of things to think about. We have games. Uh, you're, you're into games or whatever it might be, you know. Want to resize this on the fly? You want to operate in the smaller mode? That's all up to you. Want to click on a game, hit the install key. You know, a lot of things that's not everybody's cup of tea, but more importantly, you got a lot of choices. Hamburger menu. So this is meant to install 8.2.8. .8. And you can also use Terminal to install software. The simple screen I actually installed through Terminal, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. Okay, that's how I installed that software. So you can use Terminal, Synaptic, Package Manager, or Software Manager. Especially for new users, Software Manager is more friendly. Let me give you a couple of tips in the web browser. You want the full screen, or I can pull this down to this window size, and uh, we can talk about uh, maybe some things we can do with this. So I'm gonna go full screen. So uh, the, bat, the news is bad enough as it is, and what am I doing to resize the text in here from 30% to 500? I'm holding down the control key while scrolling on my USB-based mouse. You'll see me doing this also in the file manager. So what I'm gonna do with my middle click button, that is the little switch underneath my scroll wheel. So this is, now I'm scrolling in this resized 90%. That's probably too small for my screen. So I'll probably like the 150. But I, I'm going to sit there and read the news, but I want the articles I'm interested in to load in the background so I can click them later. Middle click, middle click, middle click, middle click. You can see the articles loading right here. So a lot of folks uh, are aiming for that little small square to close the tab. You know, you misclicked, you went like that. And you're going, ah, oh, I'm trying to close that. And then you click the one next to it. Well, I'm going to show you a trick where you can use the whole surface area here using your middle click button, not your regular click. I'm going to middle click these tabs to close them. Middle click, middle click. You noticed I'm nowhere near that X. Middle click, middle click. What would you think if I middle click this one? Yes, it does the same thing as closing the browser. Does this work in other web browsers? Yes. In Chromium, you get uh, the reduction of 25% to 500. Middle click still works the same. File manager time. Click and hold, right? So again, that line at the top, click and hold, double click, full screen. Pull down, resized. Right click, resize. Click the standard way. You can also double click and double click. Multiple ways of doing this. You have the standard resizer for icons here. You can click the view menu. You can click zoom in and out in normal size. You can also hold down your control key and repeatedly hit plus, minus, or zero. Control zero looks like this, normal size icons. Control plus, 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 plus to make it bigger, 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 bigger. Control negative, negative, negative. Scrolling up, scrolling back, scrolling up, scrolling back. What am I doing here? Holding down the control key using my scroll wheel on my computer mouse. I'm going to open up pictures for a second. And I'm going to scroll back and then go to the home folder and scroll up. And then go back to pictures. Independently resized windows for Nemo, your file manager 5.8.5. Going back to pictures, making this larger. You notice this scroll bar is an unusually large. If you have installed this already, you probably don't have that. I'm gonna pull this back a little bit. I'm gonna resize the icons to let you see the length changes, but not the width. How do you get one of these? All right, let's talk about that briefly. I'm gonna close this because when you do this, you need to have this closed. Right click, system settings, or mint menu system settings, however you get here. Hit the themes. It will look like that when you open this, and this is where you can first change your themes. Now you can see the mouse pointer that I'm using. This is the standard one. These are installed in USR share icons. This one is installed in dot icons. I'll come to back to this in a minute. Settings. That's the setting that I, I was referring to. So if this is off, it's normally defaults to 10. So what's a 10 look like? A 10 looks like this. 
That's a 10. I'll go to pictures. That's a 10. You see the width of it. I'm not talking length. I'm talking width. Okay, I can, I can make this bigger in the, but the width never changed. It's just the length of that thing. As I scroll in and out of here to make the icons bigger, this thing grows in length. So now I'm going to go and double that number. And then I'm going to close this temporarily and reopen the file manager. And we'll just use pictures for the example. Now that bar is twice as wide. That's where I got that setting from. All right. Resizing icons on the fly. Again, I can click and hold, pull down, double click. Resize the icons to my way or whatever size you want. Control H, what does that do? Control H shows hidden files and folders. Born again shell history, dot born again shell history. It's normally not in regular view, Control H. You don't see it now, now you do, because I have that for showing hidden files and directories. What's another, another name for a directory? Folder. So the dot icons folder I normally generate myself on all Linux distributions. And I install these manually. That's the radioactive mouse cursor that I've been referring to. So you notice that says default and there's nothing else in there. Yet when I went back in here, you saw this earlier, you see extra mouse pointers. Where are these in installed? They're installed in your USR share icons folder. I used to show that on my previous channel quite frequently. This is the only one installed in dot icons, the one I'm currently using. This again is your default mouse pointer. So most of these are all black and white ones. See, even this turns out to be a black and white thumbnail, but you can see the color of it. How do you adjust the size? The size is done downstairs. I'll scroll this back to Dinky. This is small. And back up to where I had it, larger or jumbo. Some of your mouse cursors that you install manually are not resizable. There's the default line right there. All right. Font selections are done in here. I'm using 11. You can do the plus or minus thing or drag. Just a couple of tips in there for you. All right, so I'm kind of running short on time, so I'm just gonna talk about a couple more things and I'm gonna ask you to come back for later uh, when I do uh, additional videos for some other stuff. So under general, this is turned off. And what does this thing do? So when you're getting ready to shut down your system, you have this dialog box. Click shut down. Click restart. If you have Hibernate activated and you uh, chose all the right install stuff and your system is able to hibernate, then of course you can click that. But in general, we're dealing with shutdown or restart or cancel. How would you like a timer in here? That'll auto shut down your system. In other words, when you click on this icon here, you can walk away from the machine instead of clicking anything else. Or you can just click it now. So in that case, right click system settings general slide that feature on and you plug in the time frames I don't recommend below 10 seconds but you know if you want to go with 15 how about an odd number like 32 seconds hit enter make sure you hit enter when you do this and close now I got 32 seconds to think about it so if I didn't want to do anything I can literally walk out the door right now and it'll auto shut down my system if I wanted to force it to shut down I click or restart. What if I want a different time frame? Well, go fix it in here. You can do that in two seconds. What do you want? You want 19 seconds? How about that? 19 and enter. It's done. 19 seconds it is. All right, folks, stay tuned for some additional videos coming down the pike. Thank you for watching.